To finish this section on the major scale, we're going to write every major scale with key signatures in both treble and bass clefs. You'll need five sheets of manuscript paper. So what's the benefit of doing this? Solidify your knowledge of the major scale. Master where notes appear on the staff. Work with every major key signature. Become proficient in both treble and bass clefs. And use ledger lines. Until now, we have not spent a lot of time working with the bass clef. Not to worry. The bass clef functions the same as the treble clef. Only real difference is where notes appear on the staff. You already have everything you need to write major scales in the bass clef. You already know middle C is written here. You have the grand staff, which shows where notes are placed on the bass clef. And you have the major key signatures in both treble and bass clefs. We'll follow these steps to write each major scale. We'll use the E-flat major scale and key signatures to demonstrate. First, make a grand staff. Connect two staves together by drawing a line at both ends. Add a treble clef to the top staff and a bass clef to the bottom staff. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. Next, label the scale and key. Write it above the treble clef to the left. In this case, E flat major. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. Number three, add the key signature. Using the printout of all major key signatures, add the key signature to both clefs. This is going to be key of E flat. This is the key signature for E flat. Add these flats. In the treble clef, B flat, E flat, A flat. Do the same in the bass clef, B flat, E flat, A flat. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. Now we're going to add the musical alphabet. Write the musical alphabet between the two staves, starting on the letter that matches the name of the major scale and key signature. Since we're doing E flat major, the musical alphabet will start on the letter E. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. Now we're going to write the major scale in the treble clef. Add flats or sharps to the musical alphabet so your note names are correct. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. Now we'll write it in the bass clef. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. It should look something like this on your manuscript paper. Notice the last three notes in the bass clef used ledger lines. And lastly, take the time to verify your major scale is correct using the tools we've learned so far. Is the order of whole steps and half steps correct? Move up two whole steps, one half step, three whole steps, and one half step. That checks out. Does it pass the three tests so we know all note names are correct? Did it use all seven letters? Yes. Did we skip a letter? No. And did we use a letter twice before the musical alphabet started over? No. All three are correct. Please note, these next two videos will move along very quickly, so do pause and replay. Work at the pace that is right for you. If you are unsure about something, just go back and review the video on that subject. Let's get started.